All right, we're here with Central Oklahoma head soccer coach Mike Cook. The UCL Broncos 16 and 0 on the season, 9 and 0 in the MIAA, and now officially regular season conference champions. Uh, you got two games left on the season, coach. Uh, what do you tell your team going into this final weekend? Well, we're definitely uh, preaching to stay focused. Let's finish strong. Uh, to get a perfect season would be uh, pretty amazing. So uh, that's our goal. We want to win two more games. What does it help you that you've got a senior class? Obviously, has been a big part of this season uh, in the last four seasons, but this is their last opportunity to do something on their home field. How does that help you going into these last two Well, games? we've been promoting that too. said, hey, this, this is your last chance to, uh, to play games you know, for UCO. But more importantly, we've had a very good tradition of excellence here. Uh, and some of those teams, great teams we've had in the past, uh, didn't do this, didn't accomplish this. So we're saying, hey, this is a chance for you to do something that will be in the record books for, for a long time, and uh, no one else has ever done this. So uh, let's really focus on that and uh, make a uh, lasting memory. big part of your strength this year is your back line. Uh, get a couple more shutouts last weekend. Uh, is a shutout the goal for each game this weekend? Every game is, is shutouts the goal. Uh, we told them, hey, if we can shut a team out, I'm sure that uh, you know, I feel like we have enough tools out there to, uh, to score at least one goal. Um, you know, so that that's the goal. Let's shut them out and then uh, see what we can do from there. How has that back line been able to be so strong consistently through 16 games? Well, obviously we've got some solid players back there, but our goal and our mentality is it's a team effort defensively. So we try to pressure up front and through the midfield, which eliminates some balls being played to the other team's forwards, and that, that helps our backs as well. So if the team plays well defensively and we do the, our jobs from the, from the back line through the key goalkeeper, um, it really does help prevent uh, shots and, and helps the back line. you got two forwards who've had a lot of success this year. Katie Killian leads the country in goals. Asia Hale, she's having a great year, which might even be in the shadows of Katie's uh, outstanding season. But uh, both of them are pretty quick to attribute their success to the, to the midfielders and the defenders doing their job. Uh, what does that mean to your team overall that everyone kind of defers their success to their teammates? Well, that's what it's all about, you know, from the coaching staff on down. Uh, this is a team effort. Uh, we've preached that all through the spring, all through training camp and through this fall. Um, you know, you win with, we're saying hashtag 26 strong. There's 26 on our roster. So uh, we're here as a team. Uh, we want to give each other credit. We want to work for each other. Um, you know, if the forwards do their part, the midfielders need to get them the ball. If the midfielders show for the fullbacks, they're going to get the ball. Everyone doing their job. Uh, you know, our bottom line is we don't care who scores as long as we're scoring goals and winning games. Okay, Central Oklahoma takes on Northeastern State Friday at 7 p.m. Uh, and Missouri Southern Sunday at 1 p.m. in a senior day festivities. Uh, Coach, thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.